First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm here with First Capital Robot in three days. And I'm Andrew. And we're going to talk to you about our indexing system of the robot. So if you come over here, you can see that our indexing system is primarily made of this 2 by one by 16th inch wall tubing from Andy Mark right here. So <clears throat> with that, we have um, the belting system. These are two inch wide belts. You can purchase them from McMaster Car. It's called flat belting. And to help that along, for each of these, we have a wheel from Andy Mark to help crown the roller. So by putting your crown on your roller, you make it so the belt kind of forms around it and it wants to track onto that crown and that keeps our belt straight when they're driving up. So with that, with those crowns, we have multiple stealth rollers from Andy Mark and these um, compliant wheels, which are slightly bigger that make those crowns. Moving further along over on this side here, we have a rev through bore encoder, which is used to count ticks on the elevator. There uh, are a couple other features of this elevator that are actually moving into our intake. Down here at the bottom, we have two time of flight sensors from playing with fusion. So these time of flight sensors are used to detect when a ball comes into the robot. And then there's a second one that detects when it leaves the intake so that we can properly move our indexing system and make sure that the balls don't touch. The first stage of the indexer is powered by two 775 Pro motors right here. And the second stage is powered by a Neo 550 motor that happens to also be through an ultra planetary gearbox for a super compact solution. So I'm gonna turn it over to Andrew to talk about how the controls work for the indexing. Sure, so uh, we implemented a pretty simplistic algorithm here. Um, since we only have sensors at the bottom, we uh, go in when we run the intake, we, we wait for a ball to uh, come by the first sensor and when we see it, we just run until we don't see it anymore. Um, and uh, since we don't know where balls are within the system, um, there's uh, some conditions where it'll end up bunching up. Um, if we had more time, we would uh, probably put more sensors throughout this, uh, this indexer so we could prevent that uh, in software. But what we do now is uh, after we have uh, intook the ball into the indexer, we just run this stage um, in reverse uh, for about half a second. And that uh, does a pretty good job, actually, of um, keeping stuff from clumping up in the shooter wheel. Um, here we'll put a, a few in. and then uh, we can shoot them. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our First Capital RA3D sponsors.